Hey everybody, I'm back. We got Smuggler's Bounty. So excited for this. The Star Wars box has been pretty sweet. Uh, what was the last one? The last one was Resistance. Oh, that one was a little bit of a letdown because of the flocked chewy. Oh, and a C-3PO mug, and I don't like the mugs. This month should be pretty sweet. The theme is Cantina. Uh, it's been advertised everywhere. There's two pop figures in here. New molds or new characters. No idea what it is, even though apparently it was leaked weeks ago. Somehow I managed to avoid all spoilers, so I'm very excited. Um, obviously I'm going to have a patch, a pin, t-shirt. Don't know if there'll be anything else other than the two pops. In the first box when they did that with two pops, there was a lanyard. So whatever, as long as the pops are cool and maybe get a cool t-shirt, I will be happy. Um, I'm thinking it could be a Maz Kanata, which would be cool, although I would think that would be more one they want to sell to the general public. So really kind of my ideal pops in here, but I'm not going to have expectations. would be uh, Ponda Baba and I believe it was Dr. Evans and something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it'd be so cool if we got a Ponda Baba with the arm cut off. I just think that would be really neat. But without further ado, oh, and I should mention, I'm sorry, uh, it's late night here, but Mary is with us behind camera. Hello. So when I say something stupid, you will hear her tell me. <laughs> I've been but, talking the entire time. Mm, <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, ladies and gentlemen, you know how we like to do. Let's cut that bad boy open. And I don't know, I don't really need to do the feel on top. We know it's a patch and a pin. Let's do the patch first because I like the pins more than the patches. Oh, that's actually really nice. So we got Greedo and a nice kind of green and uh, like a little Tatooine hut on the bottom. Or I guess maybe that's supposed to be the actual cantina. And yeah, because it says Mos Eisley on the patch, so that's really sweet. Actually, that's a nice patch. I like that. So let's see what the pin is. Because I like the pins. <laughs> we got one of the uh, uh, cantina band guys. I don't remember which one. I don't know other names. But, you know, like Fig and Danaran or something like that. So that's pretty cool. It's not as noticeable. I still think uh, of the three boxes, the Kylo Ren pen was the coolest, but he's just got the coolest design of anything they've done so far. So, all right, now I'm going to pull the flap and not look and all that good stuff. And we will have a cool t-shirt, well, hopefully a cool t-shirt. Let's see, the last two have been awesome pop tees, so what are we going to get this time? It's not a pop tee, so that's a little bit of a bummer. Looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be one of those where each box, may, there's going to be one in four designs. Uh, it's going to be a wanted poster. And I got Move Tech. Eh. Compared to the other two shirts, this is cool. I like it. I'm going to enjoy wearing it. It's very neat. It's very different from any Star Wars shirts. Uh, it doesn't really even say Star Wars. Well, I guess you have the Galactic Empire and uh, the Rebel or the Galactic logo, or the Imperial logo on there. But other than that, it's not instantly identifiable. Oh, it does say the Star Wars. Why does it say Star Wars The Force Awakens? Was that. I thought that was a. Uh... <clears throat> I was going to ask. Yeah, hold on. This makes. Uh, guys, this makes no sense. <laughs> by uh, wanted criminal, wanted dead or alive, issued by the Galactic Empire. Yet Star Wars: The Force Awakens. What? What? What's up with that? <laughs> That's messed up. Anyways, um, I don't. I don't think they do a card, so I'm not. I'm not going to be able to see what the other shirts are. You'll probably have to watch other unboxings for that. But it is a very cool shirt, even though it's a little inconsistent with uh, the actual product line. So, okay, we got two pops. There's definitely some. Uh, Okay, yeah, I figured there'd be one extra little junky item in here. I almost would prefer a lanyard, even though I don't care about those. But it is a pencil topper. I think this is one of the lamest things Funko has made. <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty sure most of their market, for these boxes at least, are not grade school kids or even junior high kids. I don't know, other than a small portion, in general, I think most people of the age that would enjoy these boxes wouldn't care about these. Didn't know they made Star Wars ones, though, so what did we get? We got a little Chewbacca pencil pen topper. So, you know, I don't know. It's cute. Yeah, but I mean, I, I, don't, I rarely use a pencil or a pen anymore, mostly just for signing receipts, you know? I mean, most of my notes now I'm typing or whatever, so it doesn't have a lot of use for me. Maybe Mary will like it. <laughs> or somebody. And then, yes, this may be a short video, and I'll talk about the pops, obviously. So, should we go? Right hand, left hand. <laughs> I've got two. Where I'm letting you choose, Mary, not you guys. Oh, uh, let's go with the left hand. Left hand, all right, left handed. We've got. No, I meant your other left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, cool, actually. Red Snaggletooth. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we've gone back to the stickers, not the actual box printing. His number is 70. That's a, that's a lower number than even like the Phasma Chrome pop that was in the first line, so. 
That's a little weird. But still, he's actually a pretty cool pop figure with his one little snaggle tooth. Now, he's called Red Snaggletooth. This concerns me that he's Red Snaggletooth. If this is like Blue Snaggletooth, that's gonna be kind of a letdown. <laughs> I mean, he is from the cantina. <sighs> well, I'm a little worried, guys. I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a little worried about that. But let's see, who do we get? Hopefully, it'll be somebody kind of cool. Oh, ooh! Oh. Again, okay. Well, let me show you. It's Ben Kenobi. But it's an action pose lightsaber out Ben Kenobi, and that is really nice. I haven't even gotten an old Ben Kenobi yet. Now I'm not only don't even know if I care to get one because this one is super cool. And he is number 99, so he's definitely numbered correctly. Again, logos, I was just gonna point that out. Yeah, uh, the, they have two different Star Wars logos up here, so that's interesting. He's awesome though. He's very heavy too. So, and of course they are all bobbleheads. Yeah, let me make sure there's nothing else in here, and then yeah, and they don't do any kind of art in their boxes or anything. But, uh, yeah, I really like that, actually. That's a really cool Ben Kenobi. Uh, the box is kind of bent up, but I don't care. He's definitely getting open. He looks is, way too cool. I can't tell. Does he have the Star Wars stand? Like, yeah, yeah, the, okay. the base is in there. I wonder if it's a little different. No, it looks like the standard base. Okay. Now, that being said, these are very cool. Him particularly, he's pretty cool. But if you're going to give me action pose, Obi-Wan Kenobi, why can't you give me an armless Ponda Baba? And I really hope I'm saying the correct character name now that I think about it. Uh, it's been a little while since I paid attention to, you know, the smaller role names. So, but I think that would have made more sense. So it's like he's actually cutting his arm off, but... Yeah, I'm sure you'll be corrected in the comments. If yeah, if I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you guys will. But, uh... Okay, look, overall... I still think a problem with the Star Wars Funko boxes are that Star they don't make enough variety of Star, Star Wars Funko products. I didn't know they make the pencil toppers, but hey, look, I'll tell you what. It's better than the mugs that I'm never going to use because they're gigantic and hand wash only. The pen's pretty cool. I love the patch, actually, but I just, you know, I need a way to do the patch. The shirt is neat. It's not as great as the first two. This pop is cool. Obi-Wan is super cool, but it still should have been Ponda Baba with the arm cut off. I, I maintain that. That would have been way cooler. Uh, but anyway, so what do you guys think? Did you get this box? Did you like it? Uh, do you like what I got? Do you want to talk about it? Talk in the comments. Hit me up in the comments. You can give me the thumbs up if you like this video. And, you know, hit that little subscribe button because you make my world so much brighter. <laughs> But uh, yeah, overall, not disappointed. It just feels, I don't know, I, I guess I've opened so many boxes with like two billion comic books in them over this last week from the Lexington uh, to uh, Comic and Toy Convention that this just felt a little light, but it's not. This is, this is what they normally send you. Although I still don't understand why we can't get a comic since it is owned by Marvel doing the comics now. Maybe because they haven't done enough comics yet, but that's the only thing that would really make this box cooler. But So there you go, guys. There you have it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this Awesome unboxing. I can't wait to open this Obi-Wan. You know what? As a matter of fact, I give you, I'll get here. I know, this is breaking some of y'all's hearts because you're like, no, don't open the box, no. But I just need to see him out and about for real. Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. That is cool. And you know, it, it, it really kind of looks almost, I know, it's like, uh, what I'm about to say may sound silly, but... It really looks almost like a gray-haired Ewan McGregor, a little bit more. I agree with that. Than an actually, so I'm not crazy, but I like that. Maybe they're uh, setting us up for the future. Uh, yeah, okay. His, I, I'm good with the angle his head's at. I know a lot of times bobbleheads drive people crazy because sometimes the heads can be at really strange angles. But I'm, I'm I'm down for that. I just love the action pose. I love they're getting into the action pose. I know in the Deadpool box I was a little disappointed, but I've come to really love that pop figure. So, yeah, more action poses, please. But anyways, guys, I had a good time. This has been a great box. I'm very excited about it. I can't believe I didn't get spoiled on it. So now I'm going to go look at what everybody else thought about it. And I will see you guys later.